ITIL, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, a framework for viewing information technology as a service provider, as well as, you know, some relevance here of that framework to the risk process. What is ITIL? ITIL, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, is a framework of best practice approaches intended to facilitate the delivery of high quality information technology services, according to Wikipedia. What is ITIL? ITIL views information technology as a service provider service provision involving strategy, design, implementation, transition, and operation, and continual improvement. Information technology forms a service life cycle, you know, starting from the initiation of a service through its implementation, uh, operation, and improvement. What is ITIL? Starts with a service strategy, with what type of services you need to provide and how. Service design, the actual elements of implementation of the service. Service transition, which some of us may think of as service implementation, how you take the design and make it real. And in service operation, maintaining and running the services through the day-to-day -day operations of IT. On top of all this, you have continual service improvement. How do we make the services better, given that we have a strategy and have executed a design, implemented it, and it's in operation? ITIL service strategy is a strategy for delivering and managing services, services that meet a customer's business needs. How the services will be delivered is part of the strategy as well, and how value is created through the services and delivered to the customer. ITIL as a service provision framework is all about delivering value to the end user of IT services. How does IT optimally deliver and support the services? How do you provide this value in a most economically efficient manner while maintaining quality? Providing the services in an effective and efficient manner. Managing the services as a portfolio, as a whole presentation of services to the business. And this all, of course, includes organizational risk management. You know, what is the risk to the organization of a service not operating properly? What sort of risks can damage the ability of IT to provide necessary services to the operation? And how do we manage those risks? IT service design. Designing IT services so as to realize the strategy, planning the deployment of these services, and ensuring the deployed services meet current and future business requirements. The design includes what's referred to as solutions, tools, architectures, measurement systems, and processes, or STAMP. You know, it's everything from what it should look like, how it's delivered, you know, to which architecture this all fits, how it all works together, how you measure the effectiveness of the service delivery, and what processes need to be in place to deliver the service. The service design process includes these following items. Management of the service catalog, the overall catalog of all IT services as presented to the business. Availability management, ensuring that these services are available when needed information security management, securing the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the services, supplier management, capacity management, ensuring that you have enough IT capacity, including staff and facilities to provide the services, and service continuity management, different from availability management. Availability management is making sure it's there when you need it. Continuity management means continuity of provision of the service regardless of disasters or other business interruptions. IT service transition. Service transition consists of the following. It's it actually think of implementation where ITIL says transition. Service transition is transitioning from a current state to a future state where you have better services, more services, improved services. Transition is all about making the design happen. It's about planning and managing service changes, deploying these changes, and ensuring the changes provide business value. The service transition processes include the following. Change management, managing the change in the IT environment, software, hardware, networks, processes, staffing, and so forth. Release and deployment management, how you package and deploy 
uh, new versions of services and service supporting IT infrastructure. Knowledge management, managing the knowledge about managing a transition. Service asset and configuration management and transition planning and support. IT service operation or service strategy. Service operation, ongoing service delivery, subject to agreed service levels covering quality, quantity, and availability of services, provide business value, and includes the services and service management processes. So this is the, once you have the service designed and implemented or transitioned, how do you provide that service on an ongoing basis? How do you ensure that the level of service to the customer is uh, continually adhered to? How do you ensure that in addition to providing the level of service that the business value expect to get from that service is there? And how do you manage the service? Service operation processes include incident management, handling uh, events where there are potential interruptions of service, problem management issues with the delivery, the processes and the systems for delivering management, event management, things that happen which may or may not be incidents but still need to be monitored and managed, request fulfillment, taking requests from the end user for specific services, and access management, who is allowed to access what aspects of a service. Continual service improvement in ITIL. Continual service improvement involves changing business needs, require continually changing IT services. Business doesn't stay put, and IT services need to follow the changes in the business in order to ensure that you're optimally satisfying the business. The quality and efficiency of services must improve to provide increased business benefits. It's not okay to do a good job today. You need to do a better job tomorrow in addition. And in the service portfolio, the overall mix of services provided to the business will change over time, and part of improvement is adjusting to these changes. What are IT services? We've talked about the life cycle for services and the processes and phases that support them. So what are these services? They're actually current, future, and retired services defined in an organizational service portfolio. So it's not just the services you provide now, it's the ones you plan to provide and the ones you used to provide that don't anymore. And this is part of your portfolio. The portfolio is constantly changing. The currently available services are defined and presented in an organizational service catalog. And organizational IT resources are cataloged in a configuration management database, which is hardware, software processes, documentation. All of the materials that IT uses in order to generate services are defined in the so-called CMDB. ITIL is about metrics. It's about service and continuous improvement. And you need metrics to measure these. If you can't measure it, you can't make it better. Metrics include critical success factors and key performance indicators. Satisfactory provision of services is measured by adherence to the agreed service level. ITIL and risk. ITIL mentions risk, but it's not a full risk management methodology. In fact, risk is just one component of it. And risk to ITIL is organizational risk, dealing with the overall program success or failure. Do you support the business or not? How well do you support the business? Are you able to deliver what you are supposed to to the business? Not so much, you know, is there a security threat? You know, is there a disaster? But is your program successful? So we're dealing here with risks to the program, you know, probably, you know, the, the layer one in uh, the NIST SP830, the top overall layer is what we're talking about, but not just security, just the program risk. And risk is risk to the overall service management program in terms of problem management, change management, service delivery, and availability management. These are the different areas where management of risk is important to ITIL. Now, what, why ITIL? Why are we studying ITIL in this class? First off, it interfaces with security risk. Organizational and program risk overlaps with and interfaces with uh, security risks. There's a need of professionals in security to be able to speak ITIL. You know, ITIL has become a very popular methodology and framework for viewing IT as a service provider, and you need to understand this framework in order to be able to properly communicate with folks in your organization who are out busy implementing ITIL. And ITIL defines IT as a service, which illuminates the role of IT in providing value. Remember, a threat 
is when it's realized causes damage to a system by hampering the value that system provides the organization ITIL helps you define that value you know hence allows you to use that value in performing a security risk assessment it links IT to organizational governance a framework of governance is absolutely essential in having a security program a security risk program that really matters to the organization you know the IT security organization and the IT risk management function need to plug into an overall organizational governance mechanism to ensure that it all works as it can to benefit the business and we look at reducing value as a service as a consequence of security risk if IT is a value providing service anything that diminishes the ability of that service to provide value is something that needs to be concerned about in a security risk assessment you know need this feeds back into the need to speak ITIL you know you're looking at a particular language and a framework for defining IT as a service provider and IT as something that adds value to the business and obviously anything that hampers this you know if you can articulate that in terms of the language of ITIL in an organization that's adopting ITIL that will give you much more credibility and allow you to ground your security risk program in the values and lingo of the organization itself and there we have it